Hi there, I'm Jeff. I'm a product manager here at CloudNC, and today I'm going to walk you through creating a setup in Fusion to help with Cam Assist to get set up for your job. So what we're going to do is come into the manufacturer space in Fusion, and I've got my, my part here in my work holding already, but I want to get the setup created so that I can start to do my Cam. So I'm going to come into the, either the right click here on setups or from the drop down menu here to create a new setup. And I don't want to machine the whole assembly. I only want to machine my model. So I'll pick my model. And then I want to identify the fixtures. So I'll pick the jaws and the jaw body, the vice body. And then on the stock itself, I can give it a little bit more padding by changing these values here. So if I have a little bit bigger piece of material than my, my design body, I'll do it like that. And then I can hit OK. So from this point on, I'm ready to launch Cam Assist. And Cam Assist will create toolpaths that respect that work holding that we identified. So we'll go in with our metric tool set. In aluminum, three axis, I'm going to run setup three here. My avoidance geometry, I'm not going to use any on this part because it's just a simple three axis part. And I'm going to run with all the tools that are in that library. And for my advanced settings here, I'm going to run with all these tool types. And I'm going to run with steep and shallow for my freeform, which is what this part mainly has. So for this mold part, we're all ready to go and I hit run. So from this point in the video, we'll skip ahead a little bit just to walk through the results. Okay, so now we've got our tool pass all created and we can go through them here on the left. And we see that we've got our roughing and our flat finishing, some wall finishing on this piece. And on this piece specifically, the hole making is important. And of course the free form on this mold feature. All right, so, and that was all tied back to how we did our setup. So we want to remember too that you can run more than one setup at a time. So uh, for a good example of that, let's just look at demo two. So I'll look at demo part one, actually, pardon me. And it's got two setups predefined. And if we just look at them individually by editing them, we can see that their uh, orientation is set in the corner and that they're Positions for the z-axis is all set up. So that's setup one and setup two as well. If I just flip that over actually, hitting this button and then hit edit. So one other, one other thing while we're in this view is to get this interaction of having your part and setup match up, you just want to come down to the synchronization part of Fusion. Usually just check that all these checkboxes are ticked on. If not, if we uncheck them just to show you, when I flip back and forth, I don't really modify my view. So I have to kind of do some mental gymnastics to think about that bottom setup in a lot of cases. So by coming down here to the sync and having those checked on, now, when I go back to look at setup two, I'm in a, in a space where I can rationalize things a little easier. So thanks for joining us today to look at setups in Fusion for Cam Assist. And stay tuned for more videos from CloudNC. Thanks a lot.